Hey guys, it's Mrs. Blue, back with another art lesson. You can find me on YouTube at Mrs. Blue, let's make some art. If you email me pictures of your completed projects to jlpick at cps.edu, you might have a chance of winning, kabam, the virtual golden paintbrush. With that said, I am very excited to give today's golden paintbrush to, drum roll please, Today's golden paintbrush goes to Alessandro. Here is Alessandro with his llama. And I mean, can you take how cute this is? Look at that llama. That is way cooler than mine. I wish mine would have turned out this awesome. Alessandro, I think you have a future in art. You deserve the golden paintbrush. This is pretty amazing. I mean, hang this on the wall, show everyone, and tell them that your name is Artiste Alessandro. Okay, so good work, Alessandro. Today, we are going to learn about the artist named Pablo Picasso. You can see Pablo Picasso's artwork on my shirt. This is Pablo Picasso. Picasso was famous for a type of art called Cubism. Cubism is art that looks like this. Here's Pablo Picasso's artwork. So you can see that it has lots of angles and lots of weird designs to it. Cubism doesn't look normal. It looks a little bit funny. Oh, I have Pablo Picasso cubism on my earrings too. You can see that right there. So I thought we would create a Pablo Picasso cubism face today while playing a game. How about that? All right, so what you need today is a piece of paper like this facing the tall way, a pencil and an eraser, and here is our game right here. So first, I am going to roll a die and we are going to draw the shape of the face. So let's cover up the rest of these things like this. And first we're gonna draw the shape of the face. So let's see what Picasso face shape we should draw today. So I'm gonna roll the die. I rolled a five. So let's all draw a face shape like this. If you like the way one of these other face shapes look, then draw it. No one's stopping you. I'm gonna draw this one. It's filling up my paper, guys. No negative space. This is cubism. There's no right or wrong way. It doesn't have to look perfect. So there's mine similar to that shape. Fun, right? Okay, now we're moving on to an eye. So I'm going to roll the dice two times to draw two eyes today. So one, number two, this eye right here. Now, cubism, things are not always in the proper location. So I'm gonna draw one eye way up here. That is not where our eyes are. Our eyes are like halfway on our face, halfway. I'm gonna draw one way too high, right here, like so, because I rolled a two. Bloop dee doop blue blue. This eye has a lot of parts to it. I'm gonna stop there. I didn't make it quite big enough. Now I'm gonna draw another eye because I want two eyes. A four. This eye. Ooh, I like that one. And I'm gonna draw that one really big right here. There's my second cubism eye. Now, next, we have a nose. All right, which nose? Number one. Oh, good, that's an easy one. I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna separate the paper a little bit, the face, I should say, and I'm gonna go down like this. One nostril here, one nostril here. There's my Picasso nose. 
And now flips for my Picasso. That's a two. It almost went off the page. Oh, look at these super simple lips. Okay. Like that. That is very fun. Now, I'm going to add some more details before I outline it with marker because I want to make sure it looks super fancy. So, maybe I will add some spirals right here. You know, they're not really looking like any real part of the face, but they're going to be super fun. Maybe I'll add some rectangles right here that resemble hair, but who knows what it really is. Maybe I'll add some triangles here. It's like he's got a faux hawk on the side of his face right there. Maybe I'll add a couple lines right here that kind of look like an eyebrow. More eyebrow lines there. And then what else do I want to add, you guys? Maybe I'll add a swirl right here. Two dots right here. Those kind of look like warts on his face, but that's super fun. Okay, now I'm going to outline everything in marker because you know how I feel about marker. And then I think I am just going to get markers and crayons for to color my Pablo Picasso cubism artwork today. I say this every video, but it is time for me to get a new Sharpie marker. This one is looking disastrous. I was also at the grocery store and I forgot to get a new set of watercolor paints, which I meant to do. Gah! Okay, almost done tracing. And we get to color it so fancy like. Fancy like, fancy like. How do you like my orange beret today? It's very French inspired. I have many berets to wear for my art lessons. I ordered multiple colors from theamazon.com and they came so quickly, ready for my art videos. Okay, now, it's time to color. All right. Markers and trans mixed media. Multiple media today I'm going to use because why not? There's crayons and my Crayolas. Got all the fun stuff. All right. Now you can just go to town coloring because why not? Double outline. The more color you add to your Picasso face, the better it will look. I'm going to do a little bit of marker first and then, you know, this pencil that I did not trace very well is really bothering me right here. Let's fix that doodad up. Okay. Meant to take green. I've already used blue. We'll have one blue wart and one green wart. Let's 
color some of this eye here, people. There we go. And gray. Why not? I'll use some gray. I prefer bright colors, but that looks fun. Yellow. I'm about to switch to crayons in a jiffy. In a jiffy spiffy. Okay, I think it's time for some crayons. Let's do some shading on these lips. It's a nice bright pink. Some green, I like this green. Look at, I did a little, a little light to dark coloring, a little gradient. Light, and I'm slowly lifting my hand up and getting darker. It's a little hard to see that on the screen, but it's there. Now, let's take this darker color and see if we can, yeah, show that better on the screen. Then I lift it up and get lighter. Dark. Slowly lift my crayon and get lighter. It's just kind of a fun way to shade in, right? I like that. That's looking super fancified. And let's get maybe a little bit more and then we're gonna call it a day. You can you guys can definitely add more to yours because you're awesome. Ooh, I love this light to dark. It's just making it look so shimmery and fun. Okay, then this Pablo Picasso is looking pretty awesome. Then if you so choose, you could take some scissors and you could kind of move things out of the way. It's my die. You kind of cut around the edge, leaving a little border like so. Whoops, you can't see me cutting at all. I apologize. Here we go. I'm just leaving a little border like this. It's like the lazy man's way to cut, so I don't have to worry about cutting on the line so perfectly, but I actually really like how it looks. There is our Pablo Picasso. What do you think, guys? He looks pretty good, right? Here's my Pablo Picasso, your Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks pretty fancy today. So you guys have an awesome day today, and I'll see you with a new lesson manana.